I have some tea to spill today. Just wait until you see what my upline messaged me after I posted my YouTube video sharing why I quit multi-level marketing for good. Like it was insane. But in today's video, we are going to talk about all of the response that I received from the time when I announced that I was closing Kelly's Reading Corner all the way through after my YouTube video announcing my departure from multi-level marketing for good. We're going to see what my customers had to say. We're going to see some support. We are going to see what other consultants that I've never talked to in my life had to say about my personal decisions. Um, we're going to see what some of my downline and some of my upline had to say. So if you are interested in seeing that, please give this video a like real quick. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more anti-MLM content and let's get into it. All right, if you don't know me, my name is Kelly Nascimento. I was in network marketing for about seven years. I just recently left for good after discovering anti-MLM content and really finding that I agreed with pretty much everything that was being said. And as much as I tried to run my business with integrity, I realized it just really was not possible. An MLM is an MLM. So I am done for good and now I am sharing truth experience, stories, just to educate and kind of show the other side. So a few months ago, if you didn't know, I closed up shop as an Osborne Books and More consultant. That was the most recent company that I worked with. And after a few months, I'm seeing a lot of varied responses. And I know that it can be difficult to make the decision to leave an MLM because it just becomes so much a part of who you are that it can be hard to make the decision to leave and be done with it. So I want to share my experience leaving and being done 100% with direct sales for good forever and ever and ever. So first let's talk about reactions from everyone when I first posted that I was closing Kelly's Reading Corner and I was no longer going to be working as an Usborne Books and More consultant. Okay, here is the post that I made announcing that I would no longer be an Usborne Books and More consultant just so you have something to reference when I show you all these comments. My time as a book consultant has come to an end. It's been almost four years. My life has taken many twists and turns and brought me to a point where I need Need all of my time and energy to go towards my family and home. These are just a few of the photos I have to show. I have that show just how much these books have meant to our family. Connor still reads That's Not My Books and How To Books every single day, several times a day. They are treasured in our home. And I've loved every single photo and story you've shared with me about your kids loving our books. I've learned a lot, built friendships and relationships with some wonderful people. And while I have a lot of opinions about direct sales companies, I have nothing bad to say about us books and more. They are a wonderful company. And I do still stand by that. I think Usborne Books and More is the best direct sales company out there. But again, especially since seeing some of the response that I've gotten from consultants in there and some of the things I've seen and learned. And according to Usborne Books and More's income disclosure statement, they are an MLM, so you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, the rest of the post says, thank you to everyone who has supported Kelly's Reading Corner. You can still support me by help blah, 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 buying my inventory. <laughs> okay, so there's the post. Um, first, let's go over some response from my customers because they were the happiest. <laughs> they were the nicest. Um, it was really nice to see some of the like business relationships that I cultivated um, with some loyal customers and how much they love the books and enjoyed um, having me as their Osborne Books and More consultant. So here's one said, oh, I will miss you as the best UBAM consultant. We love your books and have so much fun with them. Um, it really was nice to see people getting our books in their homes and sharing them with their kids and enjoying those experiences together. So here's another one. I was hoping your announcement was going to be great news. <laughs> I guess she didn't think it was good news that I was done, but she said, we will miss you as our UBAM consultant. Most of her daughter's favorite books are us born my sons as well. Here's another one. Oh no, I'm going to miss you so much as a book consultant. Best of luck on your adventures. Thank you, thank you. And then another one. I will miss you as my go-to book lady, but I am so happy for you to be able to focus on your family. So love those comments, lots of support. And then let's see what some of my upline had to say on this post. 
Um, all right, this one said, girl, now I'm crying. <laughs> this person um, was in my upline. I worked closely with her and I would still consider us friends. Although since I posted the YouTube video talking about leaving for good, um, I haven't talked with her. So I'm not sure where things are at, but um, we did have a private conversation. Of course, she was actually the first person that I told I was resigning from leadership and then being done for good. And um, she was totally supportive and said she enjoyed working with me, things like that. So just nice things. All right, and here is a, another upline comment on that announcement post. It says, girl, I love you and so proud of you. You have accomplished so much and I've learned so much from you too. Hugs. And then it had a gift saying, I'm not crying, you're crying. So really nice comments from consultants in my upline. And then I know some people were interested to see what my downline had to say. So these are consultants under me. So here are a few examples of that. All right, this says, wow, Kelly, eek. I am so glad I had you as a team leader. Thank you for helping me grow and learn. I will miss you as a part of UBAM, but thankful that we can still be connected. That was a very nice comment, and um, I've still maintained relationship with this person, so that's been positive. Um, okay, here's another one. This was like a couple levels below me. She said, oh my gosh, you were the best book boss ever. Wishing you the best. So well wishes and totally kind response. Um, and then another downline, she was directly under me and wasn't really working at the time. So some people, some people in my downline, they weren't really like active. So, you know, I didn't reach out to every single one of them before making this announcement. Um, so there was some surprise, but she said, oh man, somehow I missed this post. I just saw an email from my new team leader and was like, what? I think you have made a wise decision. While direct sales can be great, it does require a lot of time and energy. Many blessings being sent your way, mama, heart hearts hearts so that was again a very kind response to my announcement now we're gonna get into what kind of transpired after that since my YouTube video so if you haven't seen this YouTube video that I keep referencing I will link it up here for you it just talks about um, quitting MLM for good as a whole not just you know my company at the time specifically, but kind of shares my experience. I did hashtag anti-MLM in the title for, you know, YouTube algorithm purposes and such, making it searchable and things like that, um, because it, I was sharing part of the obstacles and um, I guess more of the negative side of my experience, because obviously if I'm quitting, it's not going to be like, it was fantastic. I was making so much money and I quit, <laughs> right? Like, duh. So um, it was really just me sharing my experience and you know, some people didn't like love it. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> so first let's take a look at some of the comments on that YouTube video and these are comments from people I never talked to, had no relation to, didn't even like know existed. So that's interesting. <laughs> Okay, so this person said, I don't know how you thought you'd make six figures working only 10 hours a week. Sounds ridiculous. Your life coach thought that that was realistic. Also, MLM is sales. So lots of sales jobs aren't steady income every week. Most work off bonuses, etc." Yeah, bonuses from the work that other people are doing or bonuses from work that you do? That something I would like to address. <laughs> uh, she said, I'm sorry you didn't feel you had the resources. My upline has provided wonderful resources and training. And when I feel I'm floundering and or overwhelmed, they have been great helping me figure out the next steps toward my goals. Cool. Someone I've never talked to. I don't even think she was like, I don't know if she was in my upline or not. No idea. But yeah, just... <laughs> Love that for us. Um, and I replied with a thumbs up because I didn't really know what to say. I'm like, cool. You're just like calling out my life coach who I like really had nothing bad to say about and um, compared working in an MLM to sales jobs, which if you check out the comments in that YouTube video, you'll see someone reply to her um, who had been in an MLM previously and then was in like a typical sales job and was like, yeah, they're not, they're not the same. <laughs> Um, yeah, Upline's resources, I had a lot of, to say about that in that video, so definitely check that out if you missed it. All right, let's see what else was said. 
This was actually someone who did join my downline at one point, but just for the discount. She works in a different MLM. Um, I don't have like a huge issue with this comment, but I just feel like it kind of misses the point. Um, she said, I can't stand the scammy people in MLMs. Me neither. But it's just like saying all priests are... Yeah, I don't know what I can say on YouTube or not as far as that word goes, so I'll just leave it out. Not true, obviously. Yeah, in my video, though, it's not like I said every single network marketing consultant or distributor are scammy. Didn't say that. Just because so many MLMers are cringy doesn't mean you have to be. And I didn't think you were at all. Thank you. Plus, if you were in the top 1%, what happened? So, victim blaming coming. Was it your life coach? Did the comp plan change? Did your market dissipate? To me, it seems like you just wanted more family time, which is great for you. I feel like you just used a vague blanketing statement to apply to every and all MLMs. Don't really understand most of that comment because I was sharing my personal experience in my MLM and kind of how things evolved and changed from the beginning to when I made my decision to quit. So I wouldn't say, I mean, sure, I made some statements about MLM in general, I suppose, but it all came from my personal experience. So interesting. <laughs> um, and in the future, I would like to go into like being in the top 1% of an MLM and look at income disclosure statements and like, what does that really mean? What was I actually making? And what was I spending, right? Like what was I investing back into the business? We should talk about that. <laughs> we should talk about that. And one of my points is that you can be in the top 1% or I technically rank wise was in the top 0.4% of Osmer Books and More. And yeah, things did change. They actually were like this the whole time I was in it. And people will tell you that that's just part of owning a business, but that's part of MLMs, I would say. Okay, one more lovely comment on that video from an Osborne Books and More consultant who I never knew existed, never talked to, have no idea who she is, but she had lovely things to say. <laughs> Loved sharing your videos with my customers who love UBAM for the awesome books they are. But when they come to watch those lovely videos, they will find your video that claims you are anti-MLM, but doesn't seem to make any solid points about why you are anti-UBAM. It wasn't an anti-UBAM video. So, okay. Would love to know if you watched that video. Do you think I made any solid points or no? Because apparently they don't think so. <laughs> Your videos are great. You are obviously good at what you do. I won't be sharing them anymore. And I've unsubscribed. <laughs> I love when people announce that they're unsubscribing. It's amazing. I can be a rep for a company that has wonderful products without being pushy. Good for you. I don't do this for the income. Okay. <laughs> You don't work a job for the income. That makes no sense to me, but okay, good for you. And I still have integrity. But best of luck on your next chapter. <laughs> I love the passive aggressiveness, passive aggression. I don't know. Love it. She's just like, you suck. I'm unsubscribing, but good luck <laughs> with whatever you're doing next. Thank you. Um, and then this is interesting to me. This is a comment on a different YouTube video. I will link it here, of course. This is a video that talks about how I was recruited into my first MLM, which was with Team Beachbody. And I showed private messages between me and my sponsor with Beachbody and how I thought she was using deceitful recruiting tactics with me. Um, I felt like it was pretty apparent, but this person was in my upline and was one of the people who commented on my initial post with tons of support and we had talked since but as soon as I posted that YouTube video talking about why I left um things changed apparently she went through and watched some of my anti-MLM content and questioned my video how is any of this deceitful when you went to her about everything so interesting I feel like the people who are in MLMs just are kind of missing the points that I make in my videos while people not in MLMs like 100% get it. So my reply was, you don't find it interesting that she was so interested in my religion, but as soon as I turned the conversation to working out, it was never mentioned again. And I've been in MLMs, like I know what they teach you. They teach you to find something that you can relate about with people 
have conversation about that. Use that, you know, like reply to their post or their photo or whatever. Do it in a private message so you can have a one-on-one conversation and use that to like start conversation and show them like, hey, you and me, like we're the same, we're alike. You can trust me, build that connection. And then whenever you can, naturally work it into talking about your MLM and offer them the opportunity. I know how it is. Like you can't pretend it's not deceitful. So I found that to be very interesting that super supportive at first, but then as soon as I shared my truthful experiences in MLMs, it was like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Crazy. And then don't talk to me anymore. So speaking of not talking to me anymore, let's talk about someone else in my upline. The person who loved me so much and was so proud of all that I've accomplished and learned so much from me and was so supportive when I stopped working as an Osborne Books and More consultant. Yeah, let's look at our private messages. Earlier on before my YouTube video, I got a message from them saying, I've been meaning to message you anyway. I am so sad to have you resign, meaning resign from leadership, um, because there came a point where before I actually closed my whole account, I resigned from leadership because I didn't want to like recruit and train anybody anymore. I talk about that in you know the video about why I quit, but um, she said, I'm so sad to have you resign, but I also am so happy for your next journey. You have been such a blessing to our team, and I'm so glad you man brought us together. And I was too, and you'll see later in the video, I actually posted a Facebook post about this person, just in general, didn't call them out or anything, but um, this is somebody who on like um, work trips, like convention and such, who I had like personal conversation with, not about business stuff, but just like, you know, person to person. And I felt like we really had made a connection and I always enjoyed our conversations and things. I really respected this person a lot. Um, So this was one of the consultants I felt like I had a relationship with that would continue. Um, But, you know, apparently not if I have my own opinions about things. Um, So we chatted like a couple times and she asked if I was working another job. I said, no, just, um, you know, doing family stuff and home stuff. And and then um, come October... I wanted to go look at her profile and I realized that we weren't Facebook friends anymore. And so I messaged her to like see what happened. And I I said, hey, did you unfriend me and block me on Facebook? I don't think she blocked me, but she did unfriend me. But yeah, she left me unread. I haven't heard from her. So yeah, (laughs) cool. I love that. I love that someone I thought I made a personal connection with decided that if I wasn't pro MLM, that we couldn't be friends anymore. So that's what I'm saying about like an MLM being so integrated into your life. It just like becomes who you are and like you can't separate your work from your personal life, you know? I don't know. I didn't feel like my video was like very hateful. I I was kind of surprised that I got all this like backlash from consultants, but I shouldn't have been surprised. I don't know. (laughs) Maybe the video is more mean than I thought. I don't know. I thought I was just genuinely sharing my experience, but I mean, just wait. Just wait until you see the content I start posting now. (laughs) Okay, this is the gaslighting that I am like, I'm most eager to share this one because it made me the most mad of any response I got. Well, at first. (laughs) There was a more recent one that I didn't get screenshots of and they deleted it so I can't really share. I'll talk about it but I can't really share it. So that one made me more mad. But this one was the first one that made me mad and well let's just talk about it. (laughs) Okay so this is a private message from my upline like way up. I've never talked to her. We were not Facebook friends. I never worked in her like Facebook team page. I never did any of her training. I never used any of her training. I had literally zero connection with this person. And this is a private message I got after I uploaded the YouTube video talking about why I quit multi-level marketing. Okay, she said, hi Kelly, I just saw your YouTube video and I wanted to apologize about what you went through. I really wish you would have reached out to your upline about how you were feeling. I actually teach digital marketing strategies and was a blogger previously to UBAM. I wish you the best on your future endeavors and I know you'll be successful at whatever business you want to build. 
So I replied, no apology necessary. I don't want to build any business. So yeah, I don't, that wasn't, you know, the most friendly response from me. But like I said, we had no relationship and I didn't really love that she came at me like gaslighting me saying basically like, oh, if only you would have reached out to your upline and gotten my digital marketing strategies, you know, you would have been successful. You know, that's some victim blaming right there. Don't really love it. So she just sent back a thumbs up and I decided to continue. I said, no matter what you may or may not teach your team, the issue is that MLMs in general should have corporate training the proper things and they don't. It's like a crapshoot. Like what I'm saying is it's whatever your upline is, you know, she's like, oh, well, I teach digital marketing strategies. And it's like, one, who are you? Like, what's your authority on that? Two, tell me how many people who do your digital marketing strategies are, you know, successful in earning a steady stream of income that like supports their family. Because if you look at the income disclosure statement, you already know the answer to that question. So it's like saying, oh, well, what I do works. Mm, does it though? I don't know. I said, um, not something I want to be a part of anymore. So she responded, I understand you don't want to be a part of it. There are always things that can be improved. It was just very hurtful to hear because I really try to share everything I can and work really hard on trainings. I want everyone to be as successful as they can slash want to be. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Like I, I am, I do not like that message at all because one, she's saying like she's hurt as my upline who I never had any relationship with or connection with at all, she's hurt that I decided it wasn't for me anymore and left. Like, it just makes no sense. All right, and then here is where we get into some more victim blaming that we see all the time from MLM leaders. She said, I want everyone to be as successful as they can or want to be. That just gives people an out. Like, they do that to place the blame on consultants when they're not successful or, you know, they don't feel like it's working for them or they're not seeing the income that they expected to see or want to see, they might go to their upline and the upline's like, oh, well, you must not be putting in enough work or, oh, you're not consistent enough or, oh, this or, oh, that. It's like, oh, you're not reaching out to enough people. Like they just try to place the blame on them versus the business structure, like how MLMs are set up to make most people fail at them or instead of taking responsibility for the lack of appropriate training. Or you hear people say a lot of times that like consultants aren't making that much money because they just join for the discount or, you know, they don't want to make like six figures, you know, they just want a little extra money or whatever. And again, this is an out because who signs up for an MLM and is like, oh, if I could make six figures, like I wouldn't. Nobody's saying that. Everyone wants to make a lot of money. Like, come on. So then I said, I don't doubt your intentions, but your messages are placing blame on me when I have never worked with your team and we've never spoken. Not surprising. Well, actually, it is surprising. I thought UBAM leaders were different, but I guess they're not, which is true. This message was shocking to me. I have always defended um, consultants with Ezra Books and More and their leaders. I felt like the company and their leadership worked with integrity and I did not expect my upline leader to message me and blame me for how things worked out and also gaslight me. Did not expect that. So she said, I can't help feeling hurt by what you said because it does reflect on me and all of you, bam. I really didn't want to offend you. I just reached out to say sorry. She said a lot more than sorry. So I sent her the definition of gaslighting, which I will share with you here so you can see. And that was the last message I got from her. So yeah, gaslighting, according to Medical News Today, said it is a form of psychological abuse in which a person or group causes someone to question their own sanity, memories, or perception of reality. Yep. No, thank you. Now let's get into this. I mentioned this earlier in the video. This is a post that I made about that upline consultant who unfriended me on Facebook and did not reply to my message when I asked her about it. So I made a post because this was kind of like a teaser for this video. And so I shared and, you know, I'm trying to share truths and experience. So 
I posted on Facebook, so sad, another UVM consultant whom I've had some really good personal conversations with and felt like I really had a connection with has unfriended me on Facebook and stopped responding to my messages since I posted my YouTube video about why I chose to leave the company and never join a network marketing company again. I am surprised, although I guess I shouldn't be. You hear all the time that friendships created through network marketing aren't real, and if you leave the company, they won't last. I thought my experience would be different, but it seems not so. I'll be filming a video soon about the aftermath of quitting MLM because there's more to share. This is that video. <laughs> so it was funny because somebody did comment on this post saying like, maybe it's because your video was anti-MLM. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's definitely because my video was anti-MLM. <laughs> So that was that. And this is kind of the deal that I can't share the actual thing of. And there was a private conversation that I will not be sharing. Still out of respect for this friend, I guess. I don't know. Um, so she commented on that post calling out my integrity love that as if she doesn't know me as a human being basically saying that she didn't like how I posted my story about leaving multi-level marketing on my Kelly's Reading Corner branded YouTube channel that you know clearly has like embedded hashtags regarding like Usborne books and more so she was pissed <laughs> that people who might be searching YouTube regarding the Usborne Books and More opportunity might come across my video sharing my experience in the MLM and why I decided to leave, which I find interesting because one of the things that she said was one story is not every story. And I said, yeah, exactly. That's why I'm sharing my story. Like, so you think that you should get to share your experience with your MLM, but because mine is opposing, I can't share mine. And I don't see what's wrong with me posting it on my YouTube channel that I have since rebranded. Okay, I was planning on rebranding it. And yeah, there's like hashtags regarding Osborne Books and more, but wouldn't I want people who are looking up that company to hear my real experience in the company? And especially from someone who was in the top 4% of the company, you know, and other people around, you know, like my rank or whatever are sharing things about like, oh, because of you, bam, I get to this or I get to that. And like, I'm so successful. And, you know, they should be able to see the other side of it and do the research and make decisions for themselves, should they not? That seems pretty hypocritical to me. And it, I felt a little offended that my integrity was being called out on my public Facebook by someone who I did have, this is another consultant who I didn't work with, but had a personal connection with and had had extensive conversations with and had helped with personal stuff going on. So that was interesting to see for sure. And this person messaged me saying that, you know, oh, friends should be able to challenge each other. Like she was just challenging my integrity and that was fine. And that, you know, friends can disagree and have opposing views. But then what she's actually saying is that if you oppose her views, you can't post about it on YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of stories, <laughs> I would love to start a series of MLM horror stories. There are some other anti-MLM content creators, anti-scam creators that post videos like this and I really enjoy them, so I would like to post them. So if you have any horror stories with MLM, so whether it's a story about like someone trying to recruit you or how they actually recruited you, your experience in an MLM, um, any like toxicity or any negative experience, horror story that you experienced in joining, leaving, uh, attending a party, like maybe as a customer, any story like that, um, I would love to hear it. There is going to be info in the description box below about how to submit those stories to me. And if I can compile a few, I will start making MLM horror stories so that I can not only get my story out there, but other people's stories as well. And start warning people about MLMs, the dangers of them, what to look out for, red flags, that kind of stuff.
And if you'd like to see more behind the scenes of MLM, definitely check out some of my past anti-MLM videos. I will link my anti-MLM playlist here. And also I will link a video where I expose myself and some real gross things that I did when I first started working as a beach body coach. Ew, 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 you're gonna just die. <laughs> um, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and support my channel. I thank you so much for that. If you found this video interesting, definitely subscribe because more content just like this is coming your way. And I will see you next time. <clears throat> What? What concert? Can or want to be? Oh my gosh, you got. What, what time is your meeting? 7 to 8.30.